Okay, next uh, Max script um, is a Max script for Mentor proxy creation. Um, to recap, this is the regular one, so let's do it again. You create an empty proxy, go to your modify panel, tell you select the object, create the proxy. I made all one already, so yes, is it animated? No, it's not, so we don't use that. And we create the preview of the proxy, and here it is. So now let me show you the downside. If I render this, you will see the following. It doesn't preserve the material. So if you create a mental ray proxy in this way, one of the downsides is that it doesn't create the material, so it doesn't attach the original material to the proxy you made, and it does only one proxy at a time. So if you have multiple objects, it won't do it in one go. You need to do it over and over again, creating proxies. And that's something we, of course, don't like. So, for instance, if you've got this bottle, let me isolate it. Here you go. It has uh, four objects. So it has the bottle itself, some labels, and the cork on top of it. And if I want to make proxies, I need to do it one at a time, and so on. And then I need to attach the materials to it, and so on. So it's a lot of work. So for that, there is a script available. So if I select all these and then go to the website, this one, Zap's Mental Ray Tips, Mental Ray Blogspot. It is hosted by uh, Zap Anderson, who is actually working with Mental Images. Some time ago, he's now working with Autodesk in development. And he created a uh, macro for uh, creating Mental Ray proxies, multiple proxies in one go, and um, retaining or remaining or whatever. Uh, keeping the materials intact. So that's it. So if you look and search in this um, mental rights tip, look for a proxy, you will find it and you can download it down here. So there it is. So once you've done that, you have to run it, of course. So run the script. Here's the mental ray proxy. Run it. Once that's done, you need to get it inside your user interface so you need to go to menus for instance check for mental ray where is it here it is mental ray you will see create object and you will see create objects and that's the one we need now drag and drop it to somewhere i did it already inside my tools menu i dragged it down here so if i select all your the objects we need go to the tool menu you will find the proxy down here so here's the proxy creation. This is how it works. It will tell you, okay, it will convert this into proxies, but it will delete the original. If you don't want that, you need to make a copy. If not, you're okay. You go. You say, okay, we want to do this bottle thing. You say you want to create previews of all the individuals. Yes, please. Let's do that. And you will see it starts creating the previews and it starts creating the proxies. So it has now created four proxies for me. And the good news is, if I render it, it still has the original material attached to it. So you don't have to attach the materials again to each individual uh, proxy. So that's a big time saver. So if you now go to the next thing, and this is how I work with uh, proxies, or at least with this kind of stuff. If I select all of these, there are still individual uh, meshes. So what I do is I use my... Uh, script catcher so if I do run script and I catch this one so it's the script catcher I can do the attach so these are the ones I use pretty frequently uh, it's been added but these are a couple of them if I just uh, use this script to run it and to make it a single mesh that's the most easy thing then I go to the mental ray proxy baking which is the one actually from Zap Anderson I'll select it and check if it's a mesh yes it is and I make a proxy and here come the same questions again. Do you want to delete it? Yeah, you want to see it. Here's a casing two. Okay, done there. Uh, animation, nope, not needed. And here it goes. It starts rendering the preview. Of course, it shows it here already because we had, I had made it already. There's your proxy. Now render it. And again, you will see it has still all the original materials attached to it and the colors and everything else. So that's all done, all good and well. And if I just select the material down here, here you go, you can even see it has created a multi-sub material for this proxy. So that's pretty useful. So if you want to save time in creating proxies, 
Stop avoiding that one. If you do multiple proxies, start using the one from uh, Zap Anderson, which is the uh, proxy baking script, and use it at your advantage and save a lot of time so you have more spare time and do other stuff, which can be fun. Okay, that was it. Cheers. Thanks.